I'm Jennifer Angel, VCL Stars, Pisces. Right, now, first of all, this week, you have a full moon right on the 12th in your sign. Okay, so this gives you the catalyst to make all sorts of changes, alterations, or adjustments in your life. It's a time when you can sit back, because this is your annual full moon, okay? It's a time when you can sit back and think, okay, what's working, what's not? How do I want my journey to change? I mean... You have dreams. You're one of the signs that has the ability to dream the most. Okay, so you want to be able to find the journey that um, takes you to your dream. Now, don't forget that the journey is a learning experience, and you know that saying: it's not about the destin reaching the destination; it's about the journey. And that is true because once you start to get close to your dream, it's then time to set more dreams and no one knows that as much as you if you can complete if you can believe it then you can achieve it and um, that also is another cliche but one I I truly I truly believe so um, strive always Pisces to be the best that you can be now the other thing that's happening for you this week is that you still have the Sun Venus and Mercury sitting in your solar seventh house so great for love great for relationships um, so good time to build relationships and connect with the people that you feel right with and you, you know this you know this straight away so in other words don't try to continue to build relations with people that you just don't have a good fit with okay now, the other thing that I want to leave you with this week is you do have um, Mars moving into your solar sixth house. Okay, now what this means is that you want to be careful that life, that you have some life balance, and that means not burning the candle at both ends. Sitting there in that position, uh, it's very important for you to uh, make sure that you get enough sleep. You have enough time by yourself to get your equilibrium right and to think things through, to reflect on life. So, and to find some method of relaxation in your life that you can do every single day. And that might simply be um, getting up half an hour earlier and, and just putting aside 20 minutes where you can sit and just um, be by yourself and be reflective. So meditation, yoga, tai chi, all those, and, and reading even, um, are all good as well. But, f but for you, Pisces, it's important that you find something that is right for you. Okay? Have a great week. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.